Hi guys, this is Alexis from Reflections of a Bookaholic and I'm here with another plan with me. This is my spread from last week using a kit from Two Little Beats. It's a little older. Um, it's a fall kit but it wasn't overly fall. Um, but this week I'm planning for the week of September 13th through September 19th and I am using this kit from The Giving Girl which is very fall. Um, I don't remember what it's called but I got it last year. Again just kind of getting away from the florals a little bit so switching it up in these spreads and this I'm just gonna go ahead and say it I loved the spread like it was so oh it just really called to me I thought it came out beautiful and I just didn't want to wait to the end to say that like I I absolutely adored it um it didn't because it came from last year it was not in the floral trend, so there were no um, deco. There was no deco and no florals to come along with it. And I know that I say that I don't like floral. It's more like I don't like that right now. Sometimes it feels like um, some of the spreads that I see, it's just like florals everywhere and I don't... And then like a little bit of plans or I can't find the plans at all. And so I prefer when the full boxes aren't full of floral or the half boxes aren't full of floral but the deco and the things that stand out is floral. I don't know if I'm making sense with the distinction and I say this knowing that next week <laughs> my spread is super floral everything. <sighs> yeah don't judge me for my wayward thoughts but um, all of that is to say I did pull in floral for this kit, but I actually went into my sticker books in my collection and pulled it in from old sticker kits. So I'm actually really proud of myself for using older kits, um, and, not older kits, but older stickers and leftover stickers from my stash. So patting myself on the back right now because I love when I can do that. Um, I love when I can rationalize buying more stickers because I use the stickers all the stickers even the old stickers and that's what I tell myself so I did start off by putting down the base of the spread I know that I said that I was gonna stop putting the full boxes down ahead of time and kinda go as I planned like I used to do in the past but for some reason I just haven't started doing that um, maybe I won't switch back I don't know who knows I don't even know but I did put down the full boxes the uh, bottom washi the headers, the date covers, I don't know if I already said that, and the sidebar. I did quite a bit of laying down stickers off camera. Uh, this was, it ended up being kind of a noisy and very disrupted planning time, so I turned off the, the camera and just wanted to focus. I did the decoration over the date covers, and I did the month corner off camera, and for the date cover decoration, I just put down see, some um, stickers from Sadie Stickers, they're, they're fall themed and I just kind of sprinkled them across the top and for the month sticker I just pulled in some deco stickers that were in my um, sticker books from my uh, leftover sticker collection and layered over a September script from Letters to Apollo. Getting down to the plans on Monday I put down a flag sticker from the kit. I layered over it a uh, justice scales just to note that I had a contested withdrawal hearing I'm having quite a bit of these these days and I put down a nurse baby sticker just to note that I nursed the baby um, I especially want to get rid of not get rid of but use a lot of my nursing stickers um, because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be nursing this baby um, I am so conflicted about it we'll see I really don't <laughs> want to get into it. There's so many opinions about it, but I was very blessed to be able to exclusively breastfeed my baby, both my babies. I didn't struggle and I didn't have a hard time. It just came easy to me. I was very lucky. And so sometimes when I do think about stopping, I just kind of feel like, think about the people who couldn't struggled or whatever. And then I feel like I'm a little complaining about it. And I rethink it a little bit but we'll see um I mean I'm gonna wean eventually but I don't know when that's gonna happen um but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stop pumping because that's for the birds 
Um, on Monday, I put down a uh, um, kind of an icon sticker from the kit just to note that I did some work. And I did put down a bow strong box to note that I needed to create the baby's uh, birthday invitations. And I put down a checklist on Monday just to write down a few things that I did that day. And then I finished up by taking the kids to softball and coming back and doing the, the night routines and getting them into bed since it was a school night. On Tuesday, I put down a flag sticker from the kit and I used the nurse baby script from Panda Bird Designs and also the mom and nursing baby from paper shower. I use that sticker very often and I did show that it was the last sticker on that sheet. I have a couple more sheets so um, plenty of those will be coming along. I did pull in a sticker from Stick With Me Shop to note that I did some work. I had um, a Renew and Extend hearing and I also had my Nespresso coffee which I am so in love with. I just noted that I um, needed to fill out some hearing charts uh, to handle some cases and the bunch of pins, icon, what do we even call that? And um, that's from Crafts by Tally. Um, I had some weird spacing issues, so I pulled up the header and the full box and moved it up a little bit so that I wouldn't have a gap there. I layered over two uh, heart checklists so that I could jot down a few things that I got done. Um, I needed to pick up my license because I went to do a visit with a client and I had to show my license and I left without it. Um, I needed to give my undivided attention to the waiver wire for my fantasy team because I did horribly in the first week and I really hate losing. I'm so competitive and so I needed to see what was out there and put in some critical thought um, because I cannot start off losing. I cannot spend the whole season Doing that, that would be so depressing and disheartening. Disheartening. Moving to Wednesday, I put down a half box and then I pulled in a mommy and baby sticker from Paper Shire. And then I pulled in a script sticker from Panda Bird Designs. Um, it says cuddle and has a heart in between. It says play. I've mentioned this before, but that is my favorite script right now. I love that she allows you to put symbols in the middle. And when I use more of my script stickers I will definitely be going back to her shop to get more depending on what's going on in my life. Um, after that I put down a daycare sticker it's in blocks it's from Crafts by Tally and I put that over layering a couple circles in the kit just to note that um, my husband and I went to go tour some daycares because it's about that time um, to put the baby in daycare because he's super disruptive and clingy and all of the things that crawling almost walking babies are and it's driving me nuts and I'm ready for some space um I had a long uh, call with a colleague of mine for a really annoying case and then I layered over and so uh, I don't really know what I was thinking so much, but I uh, just moved some stuff around. Same area, pulled some stuff up, put some stuff back down. I really try to not edit out so much of the process. Um, and so let me know what you think about that. If there's too much editing out or I'm leaving too much in, it's kind of boring. Just I would appreciate the feedback. It won't hurt my feelings. Well, it probably will, but not too much. Um, I pulled in some florals from my stash and put a bow strong box over it just to note that we had a Zoom meeting. And I put down a laptop from the Pretty Pink Co. and did some deco with Honey Ink and Sadie Stickers um, deco. I put down a heart checklist so that I could jot down a few things that I did that evening. I needed to make some pouches to make it easy for the baby to eat on the go. Um, Jacob was really wanting peanut butter and jelly sandwiches lately so I made that for him. We ate enchiladas that day and Jacob and I got some quality time while he read to me which 
it's probably one of my favorite things um, that we do now that he is uh, you know on a good path on reading I love to hear his progress and that's just I mean reading is really important to me it's something I really enjoyed and it made a huge impact in my life and I guess I can talk about that on another time but I, I love to see him on that journey. On Thursday, I just noted that I nursed the baby and put down another mom and baby sticker napping just to note that I took a mini nap that morning and I put it over a um, flag sticker just to take up a little bit of space. I put down a laptop icon from the kit and put down that work script from Letters to Apollo. I pull in some floral deco from my sticker collection and it's so funny how different the older stickers are. I don't know, I don't remember what shop that's from, but there's just a lot more white space around a lot of my older stickers. I think that's kind of interesting. And pulling them out of my sticker book, they tear. So I just kind of put them back together so as not to lose the sticker. Um, at the end of Thursday, I just noted that I went to Chico for some downtime and I put down a checklist just to note a few things that I did that evening. Um, I had a call with my aunt, had some time with my boys, and I did some walking. On Friday, I start off by putting down, I don't even know what we call that circle bow thing. Um, one of the things that I've mentioned in the past about the Giving Girl kits is she has a lot of bows and it's sometimes very hard not to have them next to each other and sometimes the placement of these bows don't allow you to turn around some of the stickers and have them face a different direction. I went into planning this week knowing that and just kind of more um, aware and just kind of more with a plan of to just do whatever I wanted with it and so what you'll see is a lot of times I just covered up the bows if they were not where I wanted and um I actually put down a leaf it looks kind of plain and simple but I put a leaf on that line on that scalloped uh third box um I love that scalloped third box by the way and I put down a little leaf because I wanted something other than a bow just kind of as like a, a decorative element and then I still use the icon just to note that um it was a super rough morning and I was I had the baby by myself and I was like done with it and so I dropped him off to um, my husband who was in the house he slept in the guest room guys to get away from the 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 crying baby and I was like nah like your turn and so I dropped him off and there were some choice words and then I went and did work um so I just jotted down a few things that I did towards the end of the day I layered over some circles just to note that I had a family group conference and um at the very end of the day you can kind of see it peeping down at the bottom I went to the playground with the boys on Friday I layered not layered I did not I used two um what do we call these flag stickers in different directions just to draw some attention to that spot just to note that we got up and we traveled to Houston because I needed to visit to a client and when I go and visit that far because I'm nursing the whole family has to go my poor family um poor poor family <laughs> you know they they're tagalongs and Jacob is definitely of an age that he knows what we're doing and he no longer enjoys it so that's kind of sad and um I'm needing to kind of rethink some things with work because Jacob is becoming much more vocal about how much I work um when I got done with work in Houston we stopped by some friends to give um the baby a break from the car because he is not a road dog he does not like the car seat and it's really painful um, so we stopped there and then, uh, I took a nap on the way to Beaumont. So we went ahead and kept going to Beaumont to see family and that nap sticker is super cute. I've never used it before. It's from the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, and then we found out for the very first time that when it rains and it's really loud, the baby is afraid. And so we definitely had like a spaz a few minutes or so where even Hamilton couldn't calm him down it was just too loud and it really scared him and it like hurt my little heart on his behalf 
Um, at the end of the night, we went to um, my husband's cousin's 40th birthday party. And it was a lot of fun, especially because the kids were with their grandparents. And so uh, we kind of got to lay our, let our hair down and we had babysitters and just had a lot of fun. I was nervous because we don't do a lot of social things with other people because the pandemic is still going on. And I feel like I don't want to be those people, right, that ends up in the news like, oh, birthday party, everybody gets COVID. Um, so I did start off wearing a mask, but then, you know, the margaritas called and yeah, mask and drinking margaritas, you can't really do those at the same time. On Sunday, I did use that nursing mom and baby sticker just to note that the baby woke up early of course and needed to nurse and that I went back to bed that face mask sticker is from uh simply said life I then noted that I ate some leftovers and one of the great things about the party was it had good food and you know that's one thing I will say about my husband's family and just any like creole or cajun based food man the food is good they are they never disappoint with the food. We had lots of conversations with family and um, just kind of catching up before we had to pack up and get back on the road. That luggage sticker is from Sticker Blush and I don't know if she's still open. I need to check that out um, and I can tag her shop below if she is. And that's it. I zoom out so you can see the whole spread. And like I said earlier, I this is definitely one of my favorite spreads. I love how it came out. I love all of the foil. And I ended up loving the colors. One of the reasons why I didn't use it last year is because I thought it was too neutral. But it was perfect for the vibes and the feelings that I have now. Showed you the leftover stickers and turned off the studio lights. And look how gorgeous that is. It's so fall. If you enjoyed this plan with me, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.